and she has the Mobile Weather Lab introducing something new to CBS3, the Weather Watcher Network. And you have one of our Weather Watchers with you, right, Kate? I do, Kathy. I have one of our one of our top and one of our youngest weather watchers here with me tonight. We'll talk to him in just a minute. But first, you already know we have some of the greatest tools to forecast the weather, including our CBS3 Mobile Weather Net Lab. But now we have this, our Eyewitness Weather Watcher Network, and we're very excited to launch it tonight. Take a look. In the Eyewitness Weather Center, we're always tracking whether it is rain, snow, highs, or lows. We use the latest technology to bring accuracy to our forecasts, and now we are expanding our tools to share the conditions from your backyard to a backyard more than 100 miles away. The Eyewitness Weather Watcher Network. Eyes on the ground reports from all across the region, from the shoreline to the mountains and every town in between. Our weather watchers are reporting some gloomy conditions. Hyper-local observations in real time from your neighborhood. Whether you're in Warminster or Williamstown, Medford or Montgomeryville, we have a weather watcher nearby, keeping us updated and informed and making our forecasts even better. We get real-time updates across the networks. We bring these updates to you via our touchscreen interface or our mobile weather lab, and we hope you'll come to know and trust these additional members of our team. People like Kyle Higgins of Hatboro, who at 12 is our youngest weather watcher. His passion for the weather led him to install an advanced weather station and observation room at his home, and now his data becomes our data. It's all in one. It's the rain gauge, the wind vane, and the... Um the wind measure, speed measure. So basically all the observations we'll get from you on weather watchers will be from that. Yep, from that system. station. And back here live now, I'm joined by Kyle Higgins. Yeah. Kyle is our youngest weather watcher as of now. Kyle, how old are you? Uh, I am 12 years old. 12 years old, you're in seventh grade, but you've loved the weather for many years. When did you first start getting interested in weather? Well, um, when I first got interested in weather, it must have been about five years old. And ever since I've just loved it. It's been one of my passions. That's great. Now, Kyle, you saw the weather station in the backyard. He actually built one with his dad and then upgraded to the new model. And you actually want to be on TV and you do some kind of pretend TV stuff already, right? Yeah, yes, I do. I've been doing it when I was little and I actually started trying more advanced, like with the green screen and computers. That's great. Kyle's going to take my job one of these days. Now, what made you want to be part of our Eyewitness Weather Watcher Network? Well, when I saw the commercial on TV a few weeks back, um, I saw it and I was like, oh, I really like doing the weather. So I was like, sign me up. <laughs> where am I? Where do I sign? And he did sign up. And this is what it looks like. This is our interface here on our Eyewitness Weather Watcher Network. And this, Kyle, is your observation. Let me see if I can find my mouse here. Right here, we are in the Hatboro Horsham area. There's Kyle. He's currently reporting 65 degrees. He's got a bar uh, barometric pressure of 30 even. And it's steady. And here is a quick look at his comment. Mostly sunny with some cirrus clouds above. It is a beautiful evening here. And you too can be a part of our Weather Watcher Network. We're launching it today, but we are still taking signups. Go to CBS cbsphilly.com slash watchers to sign up cbsphilly.com slash watchers and you too like kyle can send your observations in and really be a part of our team and help us forecast what could be a tricky winter ahead so back here live we're in horsham we're with kyle we're going to be here through the rest of the shows he's going to help me forecast the weather from his driveway and we'll have more coming up from this area we'll send it back to you